Welcome back everybody to another Icarus Mods video. Uh, today I'm going to go over the changes I made in Mod Manager 2.1.0. Uh, some of these changes were in the previous release. I just haven't had a chance to uh, go over them yet. So when you run Mod Manager, uh, the first thing you'll notice is I redid the UI. I shifted over the log more to the right here. I just felt it would be cleaner if we had more of an unobstructed list for all the mods. And then when you add them to the list here, you can see I shifted that down to make room for the merge options. So the way these work is if you want like a little bit less grind in the the game you can click reduce crafting by 25 percent and what this does is when you have your list of mods here let me load up my main list you have your list of mods that you use when you go to click install all listed mods it will merge all these mods together and then once it merges all of them together, it will actually go back through it and apply the changes from here. So it doesn't affect any of these mods or any of the mods that's been extracted by Mod Manager. It only affects the currently merging pack file that is created and added to the game. That's all that's modified by this. It doesn't change any of this. So every time you merge this, you can pick a new choice. So the top two are reduced crafting by 25%. Uh, every item that's being that's required for a recipe will be a quarter of that will be reduced. So if it costs four ingots, it'll only cost three ingots. So 50% cuts everything in half. So if the recipe calls for two, it will now call for one. Uh, any recipe that calls for one item, it will still call for one item because half of one rounded up is still one. Um, so this will affect mainly the larger quantities. Um, some of the game's items, when they go to have the recipes, you might have to have 40 or 50 of an item. This will drastically reduce that. and. If you would rather just avoid that altogether, you can always do creative mode. This basically reduces every recipe to zero. So all the benches, you can craft anything for free, basically. Uh, you can only obviously have one at a time. You can't have more than one. And then speed crafting reduces the speed at, or the length of time at which it takes to craft an item. So some items take a long time to craft. Um, by enabling speed crafting, all items are crafted really quick. Waste time waiting for the crafting thing to go. You can just enable that. And again, these only take effect once you merge. So if I merge these right now, it will have 25% reduced crafting on all benches, and it will craft everything almost instantly, very quick. If I close this down and restart it, these will not be checked. And if I merge that again, then those will not take effect of that merge. So this is per merge. So just keep that in mind when you're using them. That just because you used it last time, you can re-merge the exact same files. And if you don't check them, then they don't apply. So. That's the first part of the user interface I've changed. Uh, another section I changed was when you go into edit a mod. So like if you go into oh, the mod I'm working on now, larger batteries, and select edit, it pops up this window, which contains all the extracted information from the mods, or from the current mod. So up at the top, you'll have the name of the mod, the author, the version, every extracted mod has this at the top and then off to the left these are the files that are in the mod so you have the processor recipes item static item template and as you click on them it takes you to the section of the extracted mod that has the information so if i was to 
want to change something in here, you could just click through these to get to the right file and then adjust it from there. So week 117 had a lot of changes in it. It actually added this new file. This resource file was not there before. So what I've done to kind of help that out, so let's say I didn't have this resource file in this mod that I've been working on. So I wanted to add a file. Before you would have to basically just try to type all this in with the dash and what file it is. But if you look up here above it, it has view original. So if I wanted to see what the original looked like, I could just click that view original and it's going to open up this other page here that's separate from that page. And in that page, it used to just list the items in the file that you just clicked. Let me delete that there. That you just clicked, but now it also lists all the files in the game. Also. So say I was just looking through this uh, generator, the wind, wind turbine. So you go to wind turbine, and you can see on the right the wind turbine and everything. But let's say that this file wasn't in my mod yet. So I wanted to add it to it. So you can click on the actual file and then right click and select copy to clipboard and then close this. And then if you go in between the two files here, so I'll go in between deployable setup and resource, even though I have resource already there. I'll just do this as an example. Hit enter twice to create a gap, put the cursor there and control V to paste and you'll see it paste everything you need for that file to add it to this mod. Since I already have that file, let me click another one. And so you can select any file you want. If you just click view original, it lists this whole list up here. And if you leave that blank and click refresh, it loads every file that's in the game. So say I wanted to add um, Processing. So I don't have processing in the mod, but for some reason I want to add it to this. So if I right click processing, copy to clipboard, close that down, and then I was to put that there, control V, and then click save changes. You'll see it automatically sets it all up and creates it. And then there's the file items, which would just be the items you add. And then if you click reload, up here after you click save you'll see it added it to the list so now I have processing if I click on processing it takes me right to that if I click view original it takes me to the processing file and lists all the items that are in the processing so say I wanted to edit the player crafting I could just copy this Whole thing and remember you don't want the comma unless you have multiples copy that close it and then right in between here put your cursor right there in between those paste that and then click save changes again and it fixes all the JSON to make it look nice and it has the player crafting and then I could just delete the stuff I don't want so if I wanted to Q size, if I wanted to increase the Q size to 6, I could do that. And if that's the only thing I wanted to change, I would just delete all the rest of it. And then since that's the last item, you have to delete the comma. Click save. And it readjusts it, and there you have it. Now, if I was to leave that comma on there and click save, you'll see that it pops up an error that says text contains invalid JSON, which means somewhere in this file, there's an invalid character or something. And like I said, that would be that one right there. You fix it, click save, and saves it. So that's one 
the big changes I made to help guys that are creating mods. Uh, I used to use my mod editor. I still use my mod editor as a uh, reference a lot because it's nice and quick to find new items and see all the different uh, values they have. But once I get it set up in the mod editor and then click the extract to mod manager, it'll give you this format and then you can go through here. Like I said, it's always was a pain when you'd actually forget a file and you wanted to add another file. It was always a pain to try to copy and paste this and fix it all to make it just right and then find the JSON and copy and paste it back into here. So now you can just click view original. It takes you right to the file. So that's some of the changes I've made on here. Let me go ahead and delete. Anytime if you mess up and want to delete a file out of a mod, you just have to make sure you select from the parentheses to the other one. And just delete that. And then do the same for the next one. Because from there to there represents everything that would be from that file in the game. Delete that. Click Save Changes. It automatically adjusts all the spacing and stuff. And it's back to it. So those are the changes I've made with 2.1.0. Uh, if you enjoy this, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. I have a couple mods, including this, the larger batteries. That's I'm going to do a video on that shortly here. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys on the next one.